All right, so this is where the magic happens, my friends. This is the banana circle. Banana circle. All right, so basically you plant eight or ten or twelve. Uh, It doesn't have to be all, uh, you know, perfect circle. You can, you see, I have three of them planted over here, two more here. Anyways, the magic about it is you uh, you fill it up with mulch and other organic matter. You see, I throw everything in here: coconut husks, banana peels, everything, and then you just cover it with some mulch the food leftovers banana peels you know all the leftovers and you just cover it with mulch so the flies uh, the flies won't, uh, won't swarm it you can see this bunch over here one two three four like five bananas I'm gonna have to separate them soon so uh, Every day when I come out here to water it and just take a look around, I discover some new uh, some new stuff. I check out these uh, these little mango trees over here. So I just threw out some uh, some mango pits. Um, yeah, my leftovers. One mango tree, two mango trees. They are like five inches tall now. Here's another tree of them. One, two, three. I guess I'm gonna have to uh, to take them out and uh, replant them at uh, separate them before they get uh, get any bigger. Here's some uh, some pink, greenish, pinkish looking something. I don't really know what that is, <laughs> but I guess we'll see. There was some other stuff here. Watermelon or cantaloupe? I think it's cantaloupe. See what else? Got a papaya tree over here. So yeah, I, I put put something next to uh, next to the plant so I don't step on them. That's uh, papaya. A bunch of papayas here. Check them out. They are like only two inches tall, but uh, they are doing pretty good. Actually, it's good to plant uh, some uh, papayas inside. Uh, your banana circle they do pretty good the bananas uh, act like uh, wind breaks so yeah we have a few few larger papayas here larger they are like three or four inches tall and uh, they are pretty doing pretty good some coconuts here waiting to I'm waiting for them to sprout so I can plant some coconut trees None of them sprouts is sprouting yet, but I hope they will. So yeah, this is uh, you just keep piling up the the mulch and uh, the food scraps and the leftovers. Look at my uh, my watermelon rinds. So this is how you break uh, <laughs> uh, break them down. You just uh, Turn, turn them over, flip them over, and the sun is gonna do the the job. You see how soft it is? It collapses. If you just leave them like this, it can take yeah, it can take weeks or even even months. It's not gonna break down. And you know, I'm too lazy to cut them up, so I'm just gonna flip them over, <laughs> and in about a week, in a few days, a week, they they get all soft. And then I can just smash them and cover them, smash them and cover them up with mulch, and, uh, and that's it. Speed up the, the composting process. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to compost the cardboard boxes. Yes, you guessed it. I'm I'm too lazy to cut them up, so for now I. They just laying in here. Uh, I don't have any any machine that I could, any wood chipper or any other machine that I could use to to cut them up. So, if you have any 
any any tips on how to uh, compost uh, the cardboard boxes in an easy way and please let me know below in the comments thanks for watching see you soon